I feel uh, good and I'm as ready as I'm going to be. So I uh, I feel that I'm at a point that I'm I'm comfortable and, and strong enough to, to come back and I'm just looking forward to, to getting back out playing games. Three days of practice is probably a lot for these guys and for their itching to get after it. For you, is it especially exciting to look at the game tomorrow and think, okay, here we go, back at it? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to to get back playing games. It's been a little bit longer process than I originally thought. Uh, and with being off for, for the amount of time that I was, I, I have that, that excitement to get back into into real game action because when you're you're practicing or you're skating on your own to try and stay in shape, nothing's like playing in, in a real game. So I'm looking forward to, to getting back to, to playing with our team. Uh, I think that the last game was a a real strong performance by our team, and that's what we want to build on. We want to continue to to get better, to to bring our game to a level that we're capable of playing at. We haven't uh, been consistent enough, and I feel that last game was a, a real big step in the right direction of playing a, a hard system, uh, playing hard against, and, and just a full team effort through and through for the full 60 minutes. What do you expect minutes-wise now? Pardon me? What do you expect minutes-wise? Jump right back into it? Or I'm, or what do you think of I'm not sure. Be best, you know? My job is when you get tapped to, to go over the boards, you go and you play and you do your job. So uh, I feel good. I'm ready to play. And the minutes are they're going to be decided by the coaching staff. So I'm ready. I feel uh, good to be back playing and good to be back in the lineup. What was it like going through your rehab and having the setback and feeling clo like you were semi-close returning and then having it kind of push back? I was, it was disappointing to, I started to practice probably two weeks ago on the road and then I just, I aggravated it and there was some more swelling and when that happens obviously I had to see the doctors and the specialists again and they felt that it was best to, to take a step back and to to let it recover because you can't play the game when you're you can play it at a certain number whether you're 60 or 70 percent but when your your strength isn't there and that's what was bothering me was the strength of it um, it wasn't there and I just wasn't strong enough to, to be able to to perform to the level that I have to will be a question for everybody moving forward the playing physical yet having maybe to fight for a, a good hit uh, that uh, shouldn't be contested I think that's something that over the last few years you you see that when there are big hits there's always that response and you want to see response when you know from you know teammates sticking up for yourselves or sticking up for their teammates I, I agree with that but when I see some some big hits and then there's there's a fight after when it's a clean hit I don't necessarily agree with that so it's uh, it's something that has kind of came into our game uh, when you see a, a big clean hit, most of the times, you know, there's a fight after it. But I think that clean hits are still part of the game. They're a big part of the game. Physicality is still part of the game. And when they're clean, I don't think they're, uh, I don't think there's any issue with that. What have you seen in a guy like Morgan in the time you've been out? I think Morgan's really taken a step in the way that he's playing individually. And he's taken a big step for our team and the organization. He's, uh, he's matured a lot. He's really his game he's grown his game i think that he's playing with a lot of confidence he's using his skating that's what makes him such a, a dynamic player is he can skate and, and he's he moves the puck very well i remember his first training camp when he came in that was the one thing that stuck out with me was how he passed the puck he passed the puck like a professional from day one that he came to training camp when he started in the nhl and he's just he's grown and he's become a, a very good defenseman and there's there's a lot of upside to to mo